All right. Welcome back. We're in a, we're going to continue rune stream, uh, rune escape, not rune stream, rune escape. I'm going to try, I think I just switched to a wand with a book. See, I got this. This is for magic and I'm trying to use magic here so I can try to do some tests and see if I can run magic. That would be cool. That would be much more interesting than just a sword, don't you think? Uh, I think if we go, I'm going to look at the world map and see if a good spot to test this out. I want to try that first. Okay, so if I go north, this looks like a lot of nothingness. So I'm going to try this first. I know southeast is also another area where there's probably something. So I'm going to explore up here and see what we can find. Probably get something to attack us. And we will see. For those of you who didn't hear earlier, I'm Mangler3M and I'm right now hosting on Twitch, but I also am using something called Restream where I can show it at the same exact time in uh, Facebook. So we can see how that looks. Select a spell in your magic book and use that magic. Select a spell in your magic. Examine the book. Well, I have a magic book here. What if I use that? No. It doesn't say read book. You can examine the book. Standard book. Equip a book orb in your offhand. Okay, well, let me wield the book. There's a spirit here that wants to talk. Yeah, it looks like I really don't want to use magic. Alright, fine, we'll switch to a sword. Not as exciting, but... We've got a keen blade, this is pretty strong. Wilderness, other players can attack you. Ah, good to know. I did not know that. Alright, we'll take with this thing first. Peace kick. Imp hide. What's that? Wizard robe suit. Five. Craft Empire. Huh. It must be used for crafting something. Wizard Robe Skirt. Let's see if I can equip that. Alright, so I got trousers. That's a 35. Skirt is only a 33, but it's a magic type, so... I think we're good. Okay. Um, let's check this map. I'm looking for another quest, something like that. It's an altar. Garden of Tranquility. Nope. Here we go. Priest in Peril. Let's go there. This is... Uh, South by Southwest.
he's right over on the other side of it. Talk to estate agent. All sorts of people you can talk to. You don't have all day, right? Pocket guard. Alright, I'll bet he's in here. It's like somebody's attacking a bunch of guards. One of these thieves, or the uh, priest that needs help, talk to King Raoul. But it's that guy in there. Let's talk to the king. Alright, about the kingdom, about the protected tree, greet the king. First of all, greet the king. Greetings, your majesty. Well, hello there. What do you want? I'm looking for a quest. A quest, you say? Hmm, what an odd request to make of the king. Funny how you should mention it, though, as there is something you can do for me. Are you aware of the temple east of here? It stands on the river Salve and guards the entrance to the lands of Moritna, or Moritnia. No, I don't think I know it. Hmm, how strange that you don't. Well, anyway, it has been some days since last I heard from Drezel, the priest who lives there. Be a sport and go make sure nothing untoward has happened to the silly old codger for me, would ya? Pick the right one, Priest and Pearl. Alright. Need to defeat a level 33 enemy and a level 23 enemy. Hmm. I've never done that. Well, let's see what happens. Sure, I don't know anything better to do right now. Many thanks, adventurer. I would have sent one of my squires, but they wanted payment for it. Let's check the map, see the fastest way to get east of here. We said temple east of here. You are here, and there's a temple, oh, okay, way over there. So I should just go straight east, take this path all the way past Silveria, all the way to the temple. to turn right and go that way. I'm just past where I clicked and then I go left. this path straight ahead. So I go through here. Talk to dig site winch and operator. Oh, I need to go this way and then 
I entered a dig site apparently. a boat. Now, I don't really want to go to the boat. Is there a bridge across this water? Oh, I need to go north. I'm way too far south. How did I get that far south? I thought I took that path, but I guess I went down here and took this path. Alright, well, I'll follow the river. Keep the river on my right. And go north. So we get Uh, if I can get around these rocks. Chase. I might have to take the long way around. On the map it looks like this is all rocks. Yeah, they don't allow little... A little careful walking. I wonder if while I'm walking I can open some of these advent calendars too. Nope. One thing at a time. It's okay. See if I can cut north. Here's a path that might work. That level 14. That'd be good to practice on. Probably good if I had a bow and arrow. I probably have one in my back there. Damage, is it? There we go. I must add some kind of like temporary. Whoa. Did I just take the bones? Bury the bones. Gain experience when you do that. It's kind of awkward. It's like the religious thing. Like, Talk to Maria. He looks sad. Please, you have to help me. What's wrong? The house, there's a ghost. It's killing everyone. Please, you have to help. Broken home. Talk to Marta and age ambiguous. Sure. Ingram is the owner of the mansion. He's still in there. It seems like he found something while exploring the levels below the basement. What was it? I don't know, but there seems to be some kind of energy surrounding the house. I wasn't able to take any items in or out to help the others. Please save them and vanquish the ghost, adventurer. Alright, I'll see if I can find them. The entrance to the mansion is just up those steps. Be careful. Dum dum dum. Got caught by a squirrel on the way. That's okay, I don't care. Alright, up, up, and away.
Apollo Radio Flash skill 319. It's a high number. Strange energy protects the house. You will be unable to enter if you are carrying or wearing wearing any items. What do I do? Just put them all down? I don't know. I take off everything and put it in the backpack. Does that count as carrying if it's in the backpack? Well, let's try that and see if that helps first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need ten spots in my backpack. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means I have to go to a bank and drop all this stuff off. Alright, well, I'm going to continue this direction because that's where I was heading anyway. And maybe I will look next time and see. Slaughtered monk? Is that the monk I was looking for? Investigate box. Something strange is happening. It's as if the monk's soul is trying to escape. You should speak to Brother Samuel nearby. Investigate box. Chess belongs to Brother Samuel. Perhaps you should introduce yourself before rummaging through his belongings. Yeah, probably. Before I break open his pots. Missing. Presumed, presumed death is a full, fully voice acted quest. Features live recorded music. We suggest you turn on your sound so you can hear it the most of it. Okay. Adventurer, wait. Adventurer, please. wait. Please. Oh, great Saradoman, please help me. What's going on? It all happened so fast. Please protect me, please. Oh no, what if they come back? There's another person. Oh, it's the same one. I think. It's okay, I can help you. You need to try to calm down, pull yourself together, old man. It's okay, I can help you. Someone murdered my brothers. They, they, they left me alive. Why didn't they take me and not them? Sounds like you're lucky to be alive. But look at them. They didn't deserve an end like that. Something's happening to their bodies. It seems like they had a quick death. Doesn't look like they put much of, up much of a fight. Uh, something's happening to their bodies. I can hardly look at them. It's as if their souls can't pass on to the afterlife. How did that happen to them? It only happened after their murder. I don't think it was the killer that caused it. They just looked so tormented. racking my brains, but it's all a blur. Damn, my old age! I can't remember anything of the attacker. But please, I beg of you, help me search for evidence so we can find who killed my brothers and bring them to justice. Alright, we're searching for evidence. Another quest. Suggested requirements or other quests. To fully appreciate the backstory, we suggest you first do those. Quest combat will scale with your level. Oh, 
Well, thank you, adventurer. I think it would be best to start by searching for clues that point to the killer. You're bound to find something in the surrounding area. You should check the, the bodies, too. Take my notebook and update it with clues as you find them. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. Brother Samwell hands you a notebook. This chest is filled with the monk's belongings, some dusty tomes, stale bread, rough brown robes. Investigate arms. His arms are splattered with blood. They don't seem to be wounded though. Investigate torso. His heart has been pierced by a sharp blade with pinpoint accuracy. Legs. His legs appear to be unscathed. Listen to the trapped soul. Try the other one. Probably the same thing. Arms are pale as if blood has been drained from them. Monk has been impaled with several small crystals. Scrapes on his knees as if he was kneeling before being killed. Hmm. Listen to the trapped soul. I can't. I can't remember. Sarah Domin's light. Release. Please. Oh. 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 Ask for crime scene information. How am I doing? Well, we have a start, but we still need more clues. Two clues left to find. Talk about the crystals. One of the monks was killed using Chris. My poor brothers. They didn't deserve this. Oh, why, Sarah Doman, why? Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this. Sarah Doman won't give you answers. Perhaps they did something to deserve it. Sarah Doman won't give you answers. He may not give me answers, but his light has never led me astray. Just try to think, what could the crystals mean? Oh, I'll try. The elves are well known to possess crystals such as these. They carry them on their person and craft with them. Perhaps they had something to do with all this.
think that there's something else to investigate around here. So there was one here, one here. Investigate plant. There's a ring under the plant. Someone must have dropped it. Core clue discovered. Investigate lost ring. I found this ring under a plant at the crime scene. Someone must have dropped it. the ring. Found this ring lying in the grass. This is highly peculiar. Look at the symbol. It represents the goddess of the elves, Seren. What could it be doing all the way out here? What do you mean all the way out here? Well, the, the elves are solitary creatures who live far to the west, in isolation from the other races. It seems strange that one of them would venture this far without purpose. Hmm, let's keep looking. Wonder what else could be interesting, let's see. Go this direction. Wait, are there three now? There are three. He said his brothers. I thought there were two of them because it said two, so. Oh, the tree. Let's look at this and then the tree right there. There's a weapon or something. Investigate the arms. Wrists and hands covered with blood. He was trying to hold his wound closed. Ew. Or so. This one is clean wound to the heart. It looks like the work of a skilled assassin. And the legs. Legs pale and lifeless. Traps. Listen to the trap soul. What's it? Hmm? Oh, the masked face trapped me. Weird. We found all the additional clues at the crime scene. Keep searching for core clues. I think right behind me there's a sword in the tree. Investigate tree. Arrow struck in the tree, finely crafted with a shaft, crystal tip. Found all the clues at the crime scene, returned to Brother Samuel. All right. I think I found all the clues. I've thoroughly searched the area. I think I have all the clues now. Sarah Domin, bless you, adventurer. Let me take a look at what you found. Strange. Most peculiar. It could have been an elf who did this. The ring and arrow seem to be elven craft. I just can't remember. It was all over so quickly. It must be horrible. Try to focus. Come on, you must remember. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. It must be horrible. Try to focus. I'm sorry. I have seen much in my many years, but I never thought to stare evil in the face as today. Let me think. Most 
My only knowledge of the elves comes from tales and legends I was told as a child. My mother used to read them from time to time. I vaguely remember the tale of their goddess Serin. She was ridden with guilt and shattered herself into thousands of crystals to always be with her followers. But she was supposed to believe the different races could live in peace. Why would an elf want to do this to us? I think it would be best if we were... If we try to find more information, are you sure there weren't any witnesses? No, I, I don't think so. Although I didn't notice a strange man when we passed some stone steps to the west. Very strange indeed. He was carrying a sack of bones and muttering to himself. Perhaps you should find out if he saw anything. Sounds like a good idea. There's a lady to the west. I do I did see a guy a guy running up those steps. There's somebody else up at the top of the steps too. Let's see if there's any other steps. There's some steps over there. I don't see anybody. Nobody's here anymore. There was somebody, but they're gone. Let's so make them walk down. Yay! That's the wall. Alright, so no bats. Sit stone steps. These are just steps going up to rock. I already talked to Maria. Looking on the map, I'm trying to see if, well, I suppose these might be the steps. If I go up these steps, let's see if anybody appears. Or maybe at the top of the steps. These two look like rock steps, so, yeah. Can we get rock, rock? Ooh, talk to odd old man. Wearing sticks, or uh, yeah, this is it. Talk to the odd old man. Ask about the odd old man. Mumble, mumble. Ask about the slaughtered monks. When conducting an investigation, have you seen anything out of the ordinary recently? Mumble, mumble. Uh, out of the ordinary? No. What exactly are you investigating? A group of monks were murdered nearby. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Oh, well. Uh, I haven't seen anything. I'm busy with my bones. The odd old man's shifty expression gives way to a slight hint of, hint of sympathy. Perhaps he can be reasoned with. Persuade him, threaten him. Persuade him. Please, I could really use your help. If you'll just answer a few questions and I'll be on my way. Well, uh... Mumble, 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 mumble. It's the sack is talking, that's weird. All right, it's easy to see the path from up here. 
I see a lot of people come and go. Hear things, too. Well, have you seen any elves? I might have done, but the elves live far away. Why would you ask? You see a glimmer of curiosity in the old man's eyes. It suggests he wants to hear more. Uh, try threatening him. I'm the one asking the questions. You'd better answer them before I lose my patience. You're just being rude now. Actually, I don't think I have seen any elves. Persuade him. I found a lot of evidence at the crime scene that points toward an elf. Just need a little more information, please. Mm -hmm. hmm. Mumble, 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 mumble. Yes, all right. I do recall seeing an elf on the path today, heading eastward. I knew it. This can't be a coincidence. What did you hear? Huh? Here? I don't know what you mean. The odd old man looks away from you, trying to conceal his suspicious expression. You need to grab his attention. Threaten him. Don't play dumb with me. You said you hear things. I'll give you three seconds before I draw my weapon. Three. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mumble, mumble. Yes. It was a terrible commotion. Lots of screaming and shouting. I peered over the rocks here, but it was all over too quickly. There were three men lying dead on the floor. I only managed to glimpse a tall, hooded figure making off into the distance to the east. Was it the elf you saw earlier? I didn't get a good look, but they seemed to be much taller and were wearing dark clothes. That's interesting. Thanks for your help. Mumble. Oh, shut up. Dum, dum, dum. Found more information. Let's go talk to the other guy, Samwell. Spoke to the old man. You were right. He was strange. Any useful information? He saw an elf heading east along the path. He saw a very tall, dark hooded figure escaping. He wasn't very cooperative. Um, I'm going to say very tall, dark hooded figure escaping. Oh, I'm not sure if that fits. I must say, I haven't met many elves in my time. Did he mention anything else? Saw an elf headed east along the path. Just as we suspected. That elf must have been involved somehow. Was there any more? 
He wasn't very cooperative. A man living up there with only bones for company? He probably doesn't get many visitors. I'm not sure I can draw a conclusion. Perhaps I'm still in shock. Who do you think it was? An elf, an elf god, Seren, brother Samwell, more suspects. I think somebody else did this. I'm gonna say an elf. I would say the same, but I'm not sure the odd man's description of the killer matches. Besides, I can't see a motive, and it's strange they would discard their precious crystals. Did the odd man mention what direction the figure was heading? Into your house. According to him, the killer made off to the east. If they left crystals behind, maybe you could pick up some sort of trail and figure out where they went. Good idea. I'll see what I can find. You should take the same approach as before, note down any clues and try to find a witness. Examine the notebook. A notebook to record your findings. Read your notebook. Core clues, additional clues, questioning. Core clues, additional clues, questioning. So you could... The monks and the elf. I'm gonna go here. Wait. Here. Which one was the one with the crystals in it? I think this is the one that had the crystals in it. Oh, nope, this is a sharp blade with pinpoint accuracy. This is the one. Been impaled with several small crystals. Okay, so that wasn't it. It wasn't like the crystals. It was go east and follow the trail of crystals. Like I see tr crystals up here. That is probably leading to where. Go. Yeah. There we go. More crystals up here. It says investigate plant over here. And investigate the tree over here. Dum dum dum. There's a necklace under the plant. Someone must have dropped it. Poor clue discovered. I investigate the tree. There was a bench over there or something. Old knotted tree. Nothing hidden in the hollow. the fence and the adventure. That looks like some clothing or something. A ripped piece of rough linen cloth caught in the fence post. It seems to be part of a blue robe. Ah, they were probably jumping over the fence. Investigate lost necklace. I found this necklace at the crime scene. Someone must have dropped it. What that ripped thing in it? Huh. He won't grab the whatever. Investigate the bench. What could be on this bench? Find a letter lying under the bench. Read mysterious letter. Your orders. The gathering is imminent. Once you have everything in place, wait for his arrival, then deliver the invitation. S. 
S was the first letter of that god elf person, I think Serene or something like that. Climb rope. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna keep walking, but I wanna climb that rope or something. Just to see if there's any more clues, like a- oh! Elf Ranger! Spooky! Investigate arms. Saradaman's symbol freshly branded into the elf's hands. The marks are still growing faintly as if this had just been done. You found all the core clues. You can keep looking for additional clues or return to Brother Samuel. Investigate arms. Investigate torso. Elf was killed with a single wound to the chest, similarly to the monks. Ceratomist monks. Legs are speckled with dirt and blood. Listen to the trap soul. So I guess climbing that rope wasn't it. Examine the pipes. So I guess that's on the inside. That's probably a different thing. And there's a rope over there, so that's another interesting thing to do. More stuff. Side quests. All kinds of stuff to do. Alright, Samwise, what's up? about the torn cloth. Found a piece of rough linen cloth on the fence post by the body of an elf. It seems to have been ripped from a blue robe. Hmm, this is highly suspicious. We monks do not worship Saradurman by wearing his color. Our garments are of a more humble material. Then, who could it have come from? There are many groups that wear blue robes. Saradominus wizards, for example. It could have been any of them. I have known wizards in the past. It's hard to believe those that follow Saradomen would be capable of murder. about the brands and the necklace found an elf like the clue suggested but she had been murdered Sir Adamant's symbol had been branded into the palms of her hands what? who in Saradoman's name would do such a thing? you, you don't think someone was Someone was what? Maybe they were protecting us, avenging Saradoman's loyal followers. I suppose it's a possibility. Why would they brand the body? I don't know. Maybe I'm not thinking straight. I just don't know why any of this is happening. Talk about the necklace. Followed the trail, found this necklace under a plant. It looked like someone dropped it. 
how could this be? That's the symbol of the great Saradoman on the pendant. It couldn't have been any one of us. We were traveling to Patadomus from the west. We hadn't been any further up the road yet. Maybe it was some other Sarudomists. There must be more of his followers in the area. Monks have occupied the temple in the past, but it was rumored to be abandoned. There are lots of people that follow Saradoman. Wizards, for example. It could have been any of them. How am I doing? This is starting to make sense now. We just need to find a witness. You need to find a witness. Goodbye. Let's try that rope we were looking at over there on the right. Your trap door? That's weird. You go up to find a trap door. Enter door. Sharp eye. This might be the guy who noticed the witness. Talk about the beacon. Hello there. Can I ask you about the? Not in it. Not at the moment. I'm afraid. It's not nearly safe enough to talk right now. Ask about the murdered elf. I'm investigating a murder. I was wondering if you could answer some questions. The murder, you say? I don't really have time. I'm busy tending to the beacon, you see. Blaze rudely dismisses you with the disinterested look on his face. Make sure you have his attention. Threaten him. This is much more important than your stupid beacon. Answer my questions or things will get ugly. All right, all right. I, I didn't see much, though. What burning questions do you have? I need to know if you've seen anything out of the ordinary recently. Seen? Not really. Unless you're referring to my glorious fire I had burning earlier. Now that was extraordinary. Blaze's eyes light up as an arrogant smirk crosses his face. You seem to be losing his attention again. enough of this. If you don't start talking, I'll make a glorious fire out of you. Whoa, okay. Right. Earlier, I heard a scream from down the hill. 
When I peeked out to have a look, I saw an elf lying there. It scared me half to death. I tried to get a look at the killer, but I... Blaze goes slightly pale as he's overcome with a timid look of fear. It might be best not to scare him even more. Persuade him. What happened? Any information could help find the killer and stop them from coming back here. Well, okay. I've never witnessed anything like it in my life. When I looked over to the killer, they vanished. I've seen people teleport, but this was different. Everything went dark as if the sun had disappeared. It was like they created a rift that sucked all light from the area. I thought it would be too dangerous to go any further, so I hid up here behind my beacon. Kind of a big deal. Did you get a look at who the attacker was? No, they were gone so fast I barely saw them. Okay, thanks for the help. This information will be really useful. Hello there. Could I ask you about... Mm, not at the moment, I'm afraid. Not nearly safe enough. Okay, so... I got everything I can get out of him. I'm gonna try this door. So. All goes back to the same thing. It's interesting the ladder. Does that ladder go anywhere? Oh, it's just a be Examine unlit beacon. Probably used as a warning. Examine Ursil the Pikes, a priestly warrior from Remington. Examine Slarl Dunnigan, priestly warrior from the ghost town known as Edgewood. Play church organ. I guess it probably means. Oh, I said something said Zimmer. Staircase. I don't see any. Okay. Let's go back. Mention this whole darkness, transport, teleportation stuff. Let's see where we're at. I think I've found all the clues. I've searched thoroughly. I think I have all the clues. Okay, let me take a look. The evidence you found seems to suggest the killing has something to do with Saradomin. How could somebody do this? Could it be other monks? Wizards? There is no feud between Seren and Saradoman that I know of. All this mindless killing just doesn't make any sense to me. The world can be a cruel place sometimes. We'll get to the bottom of this. It happens all the time. Get over it. We'll get to the bottom of this. You're right. If we put our minds to it, I'm sure we can figure this out. Did you manage to find any witnesses? Yes. I spoke to the beacon tender who was nearby when the elf was killed. He was able to see from outside the bell tower at Paterdomus. Really? What did he see? 
He must have had some useful information. He said the killer vanished into thin air. Vanished? P -p Perhaps a teleport spell. How are we supposed to find them now? I'm not sure. Blaze said that when the killer vanished, all light was sucked out of the area. What could that be? I haven't heard of anything like that before. It doesn't sound like a normal teleport spell. We seem to have found all the evidence but have no clear explanation. I'm no expert on magic and I know little of elves or wizards. I think it's time we sought help, adventurer. Whom do you have in mind? I have an old friend who also worships Saradomin. We were close when we were younger, but I became a monk and she a wizard. Her name is Valina, and she specializes in crystal magic. You should go and talk to her to see what she knows about the clues. Valina Crystal Magic. You can find her at the entrance to the Wizard's Tower, south of Draenor Village. South of Draenor Village, Wizard's Tower. Well, let's go up here. I'm curious what's in here first. I could probably finish this quest while I'm doing it. South of Draenor, Wizard's Tower. Enter large door. Open the door. Knock on the door. Walk in. It's not. There's a voice from inside. Who are you? What do you want? Raul sent me to check on Drezzle. I just moved in next door. I hear this place has historic interest. Council sent me to check your pipes. Let's do the first one. It seems more obvious. Hey, who's Raul? Who's Drezzle? Uh, isn't Drezzle the priest upstairs? Oh wait, Raul is the king of Rook, right? He is? Hey, you dealt with this Raul, right? You deal with this, alright? He's just coming. Wait a second. Hey, my name is Drevel. Drevel. Drezzle. I mean, Drezzle. How can I help? Well, as I said, the king sent me to check you're all right. And, uh, what would you like to do if I wasn't all right? I'm not sure. Ask you what help you need, I suppose. Ah, uh, good. Well, I don't think... Hey, the dog. Uh, yes, of course. Do me a favor, bold adventurer. Sure, I'm a helpful person. Haha. <laughs> yeah, really. Thanks, buddy. See that mausoleum in the north? There's a horrible big dog underneath. I'd like you to kill it for me. Yeah, it's been really bugging me. Barking all the time and stuff. Please kill for me, buddy. As you wish, one dead dog coming up. see through the wall. These monks must be bad because she's fighting. It would make sense if they're pretending to be somebody they're not. Mom. 
mausoleum over there. Okay. Wonder if it's inside or There he is. Looks like a big, ugly dog. I'm actually beating it. I expect that. Enter large door. Knock on the door. You knock on the door, hear a voice from inside. You again. What do you want now? Killed that dog for you. Really? Hey, that's great. Thanks a lot, buddy. Ha ha ha. What's so funny? Nothing, buddy. We're just so grateful to you. Yeah, maybe you should tell the king what a great job you did, buddy. You again? What do you want now? I killed that dog for you. Really? Hey, that's great. They're gonna make me go back to the king again. Yup. This is a... They're just trying to get me to go to the king. Let's see. So, if I look at the map, i got two places to go. i got to talk to the king. He's in Baroque. I can probably get there pretty quick if I do this, and then just go north and talk to him. Or I could go to Drain, just south of Drainer Village. Let's do that one first. That one I think I'm closer to the end of. Draw a circle. Plus, I'm a little bit hurt. I don't really want to. I'm going to have to fight somebody else for this one, so. And I'm back. And they said just south of the village, so. I want to come through here. Through it's this tower up there, so 
person I needed it. Crystal Mage Lady. Who's probably use fairy ring. You step on you to call it fairy. I'm looking, I don't see her unless she's up on the bridge. Whoa, scary guy. Something about crystals. Might be up here. Wizard Myrtle? Try to say go away. Send Beam. <laughs> what was that? I saw something. Turn around. Spell this. Talk to Arian. Power is in danger. I need to speak to Archmage Serador. Ah, there she is. I found her. I'm sorry, Ariane. The Archmage was clear. Maybe if you told me why, I could pass on a message. Can't explain. Listen, if the Archmage can't see me, perhaps I should speak to Wizard Elleron. Marianne, you are barred from entering the tower for any reason. What's happening here? This is none of your business, outsider. No, wait. You're an adventurer, aren't you? Will you help me? Sorry. Who are you? What can I do now? Could you take a message to Archmage Cedridor for me? Depending on how he reacts, I may need your help with other things. New quest. Not the quest I was looking for. Thank you. Just go to Archmage Cedridor and... Wait, no. Too late. There's something happening. By Saradomen, the Holy Archmage! Be gone, spirit of the abyss! <laughs> Help! Do something! Get that thing away from me! Come on, my message can wait. Let's see what's happening. Strike at the vortex and draw it into the power beam. Cast air strike at the vortex. Draw it into the power beam. Grab Boren's mind spike if you need one. He's dropped it next to him. Wearing magic armor will improve your chance to hit the vortex. How do I cast air strike? Mind spike. Select airstrike from your spellbook and then attack the vortex. Get 
Get that thing away from me! Read a book at random. Dark arts of magical wands. I didn't see I was supposed to pick up some sort of a weapon. Seven years ago. Read a book at random. Living with a wizard husband in a household of stone. Looks like a new wizard is born. Chief of the wizard club. Search bookcase. Read a book at random, so you think they're a One, two, eight. You can't damage it. Cast combat spells on it. Lead it into the beam. Select airstrike from your spellbook and then attack the vortex. It's the mind spell. I don't see. You said it was next to him, but I don't see. Probably is in my bank. Okay, I'm moving now. Let's try. Oh, we have to choose something from the book, right? There we go. Got the book. Book, they took out my wine. Wine. I'm just. just doing it. in one here, and I thought I was supposed to hold a book in there. Select a spell to cast in your magic book to use magic. Ah. Exactly. Standard book of spells. Okay, so is it like this? This spell and I can stop it. I choose that one. Is that one? I don't know. So maybe it's only a specific
guy right in front of me and I just don't see it. I'll check all these bookcases, sure. Read a book ahead of the ultimate wizard of the universe. Small tables and wizards copy from the Talk to her again. Okay, Cast what can I do? The vortex. She just keeps saying the, the same thing. Grab Vorn's mind about. spike if you need one. What's going on? I'll try to explain later. Right now, you need to deal with the vortex. It's a disabling ward, but it stops me using magic, so you'll have to deal with the vortex. Don't just stand there, adventurer! Do something! of Sarah Doman in his shards of crystal that the wizards have enchanted to call. Ah, found it. Found the mine spot. Kira was on the ground right in front of me. I don't know if I didn't see. Fine. Okay, so now I can move it. I already set up for air. Now I can go and use it. Oh.
Select a spell. How do you select a spell? How do you hit and select the spell? Yeah, I need a different book. Strike at the vortex, draw it into the power beam. How do I cast air spray? Wield Boron's mind spike, select air strike from your spell book, and then attack the vortex. In the first half. Now, what the heck is a spell? Book? Make is attracted to your man. Hey, it worked. That's where they want me to.
So what do I do with it? Take it somewhere, right? Grant is attracted to it. It's supposed to draw it somewhere. I thought that middle section looked like that made the most sense, but since he didn't explain anything to me, I'm again confused. Into the power beam. Okay, where's a power beam? I don't see any power beam. section is copied. Just lose all my magic. I'm pulling it into here. I'm hoping this is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Talk finally. Again that already. To help. I'll take it. Thanks, adventurer. Talk to me again outside the tower if you still want to help. All right. That is good. All right, finally figured it out. Whew. Cool. That seems like a good place to put a cut in. Thanks a lot for coming. Feel free to watch in the future if you want. Uh, it's on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mangler3m. It's also on uh, all the previous episodes I'm trying to put on YouTube. Uh, youtube.com slash user slash mock 3m um i think that's probably going to be the last stream of runescape for the year um so definitely want to catch up if you want to watch the old videos for now and then in january i'll pick up and continue on um thanks a lot for everyone um Links are down here. If you want to chat, I'm not sure if there's any other way to chat besides the currently besides on Twitch. So you'd have to come on to Twitch and chat in the chat room. There's lots of different things. There's a bot. There's all sorts of uh, sounds and music and different things that play. They keep track of points and visitors and things like that. Um, Twitch has a lot of little side quests to make things more fun to watch. Um, Possibly I'll do Civilization tomorrow if I have any time. Um, that might be the last one, or this might be the last one of the year. Um, again, thanks for watching. I'm Mangler3M, um, and I will catch you later. Thanks. Have a great one. Have a good Merry Christmas. Bye.